Morning, everybody. The French Revolution had many dramatic moments, and one of them happened on this date, October 5, in 1789, a few months after the fall of the Bastille, when the women of Paris marched out to Versailles to put pressure on the king and the assembly. When the Bastille fell, July 14, 1789, during the early part of the French Revolution, it was a sign that the common people of Paris were becoming political actors. Now, there had been really bad harvests for a couple of years, and hunger, starvation, was really on the mind of the urban poor, especially in Paris. And they were really focused on the price of bread. Bread was really expensive. Sometimes a laborer would spend almost half of his income just on bread. So here's the scene. Note Versailles on the left. That's where the royal family lived. Downtown Paris on the right. It's about 10 or 11 miles, and that's the distance the women walked on this date in 1789. So here's the group out at Versailles. So the king was here, the court, also the assembly, and the people of Paris felt that they were really out of touch with what was actually going on in the city. Now, what didn't help was when there was a big banquet at Versailles and rumors spread of excess and just way too much food and drinking and partying. And this did not sit well with the people in Paris because they were worried about starvation. Well, on the morning of October 5, a young woman struck a marching drum at the edge of a group of market women, and they headed out to Versailles. Eventually, there were over 10,000 people marching. Here they are with kitchen knives and other tools. They even have some cannon, which they had uh, confiscated from the city hall. There were men involved here, too, and there had been talk of a march on Versailles prior to this. So it wasn't a new idea, but here it was happening. Now, here's Louis the Sixteenth and the Women hoped to meet with the king and to convince him of the issues that really concerned them. And that's what happened. They actually did have an audience with the king, about 10 of them, I think. Now, here's Marie Antoinette. She was not French. She was from Austria. She had married Louis XVI when she was quite young. Uh, there was a lot of mistrust of Marie, partly because she was a foreigner. And they actually got into her room. Now, the Marquis de Lafayette, who we know from the revolution, our revolution, here was in charge of the National Guard, but should he defend the king or show cause with the people? He was in a tough spot. And then Robespierre, who we know later from the Reign of Terror, he was just one of many delegates to the assembly here, but he did make a speech and did become more noticed. So here's the royal bedchamber. Uh, Marie Antoinette actually had to flee for her life. Uh, the crowd was able to get into Versailles. Uh, guards were killed. It was quite violent. It did tone down eventually, and the royal family moved back to Paris. So this is one reason why this is a big deal, is the royal family is now basically under house arrest in Paris. They can't be out at Versailles or move someplace else. So here's the Tuileries Palace in the foreground. This is where the king uh, was forced to stay. It was sort of dilapidated, hadn't been used for a long time. It's not there anymore. It was burned uh, during the Paris Commune of the 1870s. And a few years later, in 1791, the king is actually going to try to flee Paris. He gets as far as Varennes, is captured, is brought back to Paris. And this is one reason eventually... In January of 1793, he goes to the guillotine. But you could make the case that if he hadn't been forced back to Paris, he wouldn't have tried to flee. And, of course, that made him look like he was against the revolution. And later in the same year, Marie Antoinette goes to the guillotine, pictured here. And there was a lot of resentment against her, and that's kind of a complicated story. But a lot of this can be traced back to the royal family being under house arrest. So when you go to Paris, go to the Tuileries Garden. That's the spot where the Tuileries Palace was. It's where the king was in prison almost, but it was partly because of the Women's March 
out to Versailles.